Applications of gyroscopes include inertial navigation systems such as those in the Hubble Space Let's Telescope or inside the steel hull of a submarine. Due to their precision, they're also used in gyro theodolites to maintain the direction of the tunnel in mining. Gyroscopes can be used in a gyro compass during construction or to replace the magnetic field in a magnetic compass in ships, aircraft, spacecraft, and in vehicles in general to assist in the stability, for example, on motorcycles, bicycles, and in ships, or as part of an inertial guidance system. There are MEMS examples in consumer electronics, such as smartphones, that gives them orientation in space. The mechanical gyroscope, as you see in this uh, image in here, is actually a decorative engineering model, but they are actually precision instruments consisting of a wheel, a flywheel, mounted between two or three gimbals that provide the support that allow the single axis rotation uh, of the spin. But as we see, the angular precession is very different than the rotation of the mass or the flywheel in this example. The axle or rotor that spins is constrained always perpendicular to the axis of the inner gimbal, so the rotor possesses three degrees of rotational freedom and its axis possesses two. The rotor's force is applied to the input axis. So in this example, a string pulled by a finger ring, so your arm is pulling the string, which is wrapped around the shaft connected to the weight. And when I pull on it and hold the frame, the string spins the shaft, accelerating the rotation of the flywheel uh, to a high RPM, and because it's on a precision mounted bearing system, and it's a thickened metal gold-plated system, that flywheel weighing maybe several grams, or I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 grams, maybe 20 or 30 grams, I didn't weigh it on a scale because I don't know the difference between the frame weight, but we see it coming to a stop here. This is just to spike the engineering interest of children, and it's an interesting toy.